It's October 1st, 2012, the first day of the fourth quarter. This is Dez here at Grok Trade. Welcome, traders out there in Traderland. Take a look here at the markets. Markets were up almost 150 points at one point today on the Dow. Dow ends up 0.6%. The S&P up 0.3%. NASDAQ in negative territory. Russell's up 0.34%. A big sell-off latter part of the day, giving back those big, big gains. Banks in positive territory here, but not by much. VIX, though, increasing almost 4%. We're over 16. Commodities up. We have gold up a quarter of a percent, half percent on silver, and U.S., where the crude oil here is up about 0.4%. U.S. dollar down 0.23%. And reading some news here, it's Reuters says that Wall Street rose uh, on Monday, lifted by stronger than expected expansion of U.S. manufacturing last month, although the major U.S. stock and indexes or indices slipped off session highs after the Federal Reserve Chairman remarks and he he's speaking here in Indianapolis right in my backyard and uh, I guess some of the things he said today wasn't that great it says that the indexes trimmed earlier gains and the Nasdaq briefly turned negative and you know that's old news because it is certainly negative now uh, negative as Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke defended the U.S. Central Bank and its ultra-loose monetary policy as it aims to reduce unemployment. Uh, we have James Daly, who's uh, a portfolio manager for the Harrisburg, um, or there in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, the team asset strategy. He says, I see this as suggesting that we are likely in for a deep correction. We are at a point where even the good news is not good enough. Anyways, take a look here at the news as a whole, or at least technical analysis as a whole. What's interesting here, technically speaking, on the S&P Daily is this. We had a sizable run. That is good to see. Let's bring in the MACD here so we can be looking at that. Sizable run, very nice. We did a high base. We could not hold the high base. The high base had corrected or fallen or given up the ghost here and it dropped it dropped to a very logical area right here and if we go back in time you can see we have support support and support and with this line you'll see if I go to a line chart we have support support right here if I go back to the candlestick it's a very precise line here. Well, once we hit this area, it made sense to get this white candlestick. We did pop higher, giving us a higher high and a higher low. What did not bode well is what happened on Friday. Lower high, higher low, an inside trading day. That's uncertainty coming in. That uncertainty coming in at the beginning of what should be another leg higher is problematic, technically speaking. Today, we started off quite bullish, 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 gave it all back. That support line still acting as support, but here's the problem. Now follow this analogy. If you have a rubber ball that hits the ceiling, floor, ceiling, floor, ceiling, floor, okay? and it keeps pounding the floor, 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 right here. What direction does it want to go if it keeps pounding the floor? It wants to go lower. So I think we have a much better chance of this support level breaking down. With that said, if you go down here to the MACD, we have a centered line. That's our centered oscillator here. And our zero line, which is, gives us our histogram the MACD line and the signal line now below and staying below the zero line. That's bearish. Take a look here at the Dow. Yeah, the Dow popped up, looked all good. We came back down and we're building a low base. And here's the NASDAQ. NASDAQ showing significant um, problems because here is resistance we come up 
we break that resistance now resistance is acting as resistance again so we're building a low base below the 20 day moving average 20 day moving average so now with this that's most markets uh, or as far as the indices are concerned the Nasdaq can be a leading indicator and we see that out of all the indicators or indices here we have the Nasdaq in bearish territory so take a quick look at gold gold trying to go higher but selling off with those highs you look at silver we're not making these new highs. Yeah, we did. We went up, made a new high, and pulled right back from it off 34. These are ETFs. Look at crude oil. Crude oil under a lot of pressure. Now we have a bear pullback. Crude oil is a, this is a short technical bear pullback, short opportunity below the 20 and 50 day moving averages. Plenty of reward to risk ratio. We teach that in our mentorship. Really nice formation. And let's look at the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar, huge bear pullback. It's looking to drop. Woe to the U.S. dollar here. Um, we are hitting now our head at a falling 20-day moving average. We've got plenty of reward to risk ratio here. And we've had a chance to go higher, but we're not seeing anything great here. Big, big volume. Anytime you get a big volume spike like that at a high, at a resistance point like the 20 day usually it means a correction is in store that's something we'll be watching let's see how apple did today oh apple negative territory so that's why ebay or i'm sorry i'm looking at ebay stock too um, over on the other chart but let's go back to apple this is why the nasdaq was bearish in large part man apple just is crashing again i warned everybody up here that if we couldn't break out, we were going to start breaking down. We had a rising wedge, and sure enough, we were at 705, and now we're at 660 out. So, a big correction here for all you Apple holders. If you look here on a weekly chart, we do have some support coming up, but in the big, big picture, still a rising wedge. If we break this support level, you're going to see a, a much bigger correction. And I could, oh, I bet we could get down the 550. Um, pretty quick, I think. So something to be watching for. All right, that's it. Share us with a friend. If you haven't shared this uh, video, just go there and hit the share button or copy the URL, post this in a web forum, trading forum, a chat room somewhere. I really appreciate that. I think a lot of people could appreciate this guidance, technical guidance to this level to help them in their trading going into the very next day. So take care, safe trading. Thank you for being a part of this Gronk Trade community.